I think one of the things you'll see of bumper stickers around here is if it can't be grown, it has to be mined. You don't grow it, you gotta mine it. If it hasn't grown, it's gotta be mined, right? Well, if we didn't have iron ore to create steel, we'd, we'd be a tough society, I believe. It started here because of the discovery of iron ore by surveyor William Austin Burke. And in 1846, as soon as men could come up here and start digging away at the iron ore outcroppings, they did. And so from there, it just blossomed and worked all its way through uh, Nagani and Ishpeming, and uh, we are still mining at the Tilden Mine. I mean, mining is, for us up here, it's, uh... In, it's ingrained in us. Like me, I'm a fourth generation miner. And I'm a third generation miner here. I'm what, I think fourth generation miner. Uh, my great grandfather started in the mining industry. My grandfather was in the mining industry. My dad was in the mining industry and now I am. My earliest memories of mining is um, being a child, my dad going to work. As a miner, we do somewhat feel forgotten at times. Um, just for the simple fact that a lot of people may not put thought into where their cars come from, the steel in their cars, where that comes from, the um, skins on their washing machines and, and um, dishwashers, refrigerators, that all comes from steel, which has to be mined. The product that comes out of this mine is, uh, is uh, iron, iron ore pellets. And when we ship them down to the Great Lakes, I think the product that we make here definitely helps build America. It starts with the bridge that you cross every time you, you go to the store, uh, every road you've been on. And if you think about it, almost all your rail systems are, are gonna incorporate steel and it's an important thing. You got water mains, you got, there's, it can entail everything that touches your life and you, you just take it for granted. Everything's gotta be mined. So whether it's an electric car or, you know, steel for buildings, steel for bridges, you know, infrastructure, those sort of things, it's got to be mined. There are people that don't agree with mining in general, but I don't know what they'd do if we didn't mine for them. I think we have a commitment to do it better than anybody else. You know, this is where we live. We do mining better and cleaner than anyone else because we mine in our community, near our homes and nobody cares more about their home than we do. We do it in a very controlled environment, a very environmentally responsible environment, and the perfect environmentalist is a miner. Why? Because we live here. Cliffs remains and is fully committed to responsible mining. You know, we work in areas where we live, you know, and everybody really cares about um, the, the health and well-being of their families. You know, you can't look at it in a microscope of, of digging in the dirt. There's so much more to that picture and the, the reality is this is the cleanest steel making model in the world and we're proud of that. I'm very proud to be a miner. You know, I live in Nagani, Michigan. We are the home of the miners. It's, I was graduated in 1989 and in 1992 I was hired at the Tilden Mine. I came in as one of four women in the Tilden Pit. I am the first female president in mining. I would say to any woman out there that doesn't think that they can be a miner is to go for it. I think a lot of women are probably intimidated working in a man's world. I think, well, anybody can do it. I often tell my kids, you know, how important my job is and the vehicles that people drive, the buildings, everything that you see basically comes from us. Somehow my path led me to mining and I absolutely love it. I believe it was what I was meant to do. I feel proud every day I come to work. I really do. It means everything to my family. This is our uh, way of living. Um, this provides us with you know, the vehicles that we have, the house that we have. You have to take pride because if we don't do this, we can't build for the next generation and I want my children to work here. I want my family to be here. This is a great place to live and work. Well, it's, it's not very often you can say you work for a company that's 175 years old. Not only that, when you can say you work for the strongest union 
the most powerful union that exists in today's world. We have both. It's kind of a unique spot we're in. And we're proud of it.